A lot of these monoclonal antibodies have highly variable pharmacokinetics. We know that higher serum concentrations of these anti-TNF monoclonals are generally associated with better efficacy when treating inflammatory bowel disease. This relationship between, for example, infliximab trough concentrations and clinical outcome is much more established than it is for adalimumab or golimumab. The clearance of the anti-TNF monoclonals varies greatly between individuals and possibly between different clinical conditions as well. For example, the half-life of infliximab is substantially decreased in patients with severe disease. Patients that have a higher body weight tend to have higher clearance of anti-TNF monoclonals than do patients with low body weight, although the relationship is not a linear one. So a patient who weighs 40 kilograms does not clear the drug at half the rate of a patient who weighs 80 kilograms. Clearance is slower in patients with high albumin levels, and patients who are taking concomitant immunosuppressive agents also have lower clearances. Antidrug antibodies are associated with increased clearance, and this may be one of the most important and modifiable factors for regulating drug levels. Intermittent exposure to anti-TNFs, such as a scene if patient trough levels go below the level of measurement, is associated with a higher likelihood of patients developing antidrug antibodies. A recent observation is that some low titer antibodies are transient and with continued dosing uh, can be overcome. Overall, the variation seen in the individual pharmacokinetics of biologics highlights the need for more prospective data to further support individualized effective personalized dosing.